New at 6, a teenage girl is in the hospital following a freak accident and explosion at a local hair salon. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 6. The 14-year-old girl suffered serious injuries because of a hairspray can left too close to a curling iron heater. Yeah, tonight we're learning more about her injuries and what her hairstylist is saying about all of this. Sean Lay talked with the teen's mother. She's uh, He is live at Children's Hospital tonight with more, Sean. We just checked with Tanasia Brown's mother again. She's inside at her bedside. She says she's in good spirits. Her injuries to her face are absolutely awful. When a can of hairspray, as you explained, exploded into Tanasia's face, the hairdresser is unlicensed. She was leasing a chair in the salon doing hair. She is saying on Instagram tonight she's taking responsibility for this for putting the hairspray too close to a heating element and it exploded. She wants to be a doctor. Yeah, I mean, she have our, her whole life ahead of her. Latina Johnson's beautiful 14 year old daughter, Tanasia Brown, wants to be a doctor. But right now, a team of doctors is working to help the teen inside Children's Hospital. Tanasia has lost sight in one eye. Her eye socket is shattered. Her nose is broken. Muscle and bone inside her mouth are fractured. It happened Saturday afternoon as Tanasia was having her hair done. A can of hairspray left too close to a curling iron heater exploded right into her face. Videos all over YouTube can show you how powerful a hairspray can explosion is. Tanasia was rushed to the hospital. And when I got to Sinai Grace, they had my daughter in a trauma center and I just bust out in tears. The hairdresser's name is Kumani. On her Instagram page, she's taking responsibility for the explosion. Tanasia saw the stylist showing off her work on Instagram, booked an appointment where she states on her page, quote, please be advised that I am an unlicensed hairstylist attending cosmetology school in order to obtain my license. She tells me I don't have insurance. I don't own the shop. I'm leasing the shop. So I say, well, my baby is here in the hospital. What are we going to do? And that was it. This mother says holding people responsible will come later. She's focused right now on her daughter's recovery. She's in good spirit. Um, she just keeps asking me, Mommy, will I be able to see again? And um, I'm just confident in her to let her know you're going to be OK and we're going to get through this. Mom and daughter and family going to get through this together. We reached out to the hairdresser. She didn't get back to us. We wanted to talk to her. However, she's been very vocal, Kimberly and Devin, on Instagram saying how devastated she is by this. She's upset that it happened. She says she is very sorry. At the same time now, people are chiming in. She says she's getting threats as well. Tanasia's here. It's unclear how long she will be here. Her mother tells me once she's out, she will be making a police report and contacting an attorney. Live at Children's, Sean Light, Local 4, back to you. It's awful, but we certainly wish Tanasia the best. Sean, we appreciate your report tonight.